okay what we want right now we want to create an oj dialog to open every time we want to do something i'm going to put the dialog here in the first place and then we are going to use the oj module so we will put the dialog in a different module and we will load that to be just to show you how to organize your code let's go here and grab the oj dialog component if i can scroll up yes i want dialog and let's open that so basically a dialogue you press on something and we will have this modal thing that you can of course customize as you wish let me just grab the oj dialog you will have some slots to the body the footer and also the header if you want to change the other aspect as well uh, we will need the id so it will be the um, favorites dialog id let's call it that way and of course sorry we will bind that and receive the initialization from the init ids as usual init ids and favorites equals to favorites dialog id or you can load the car utils and get a unique id this is just an example don't forget to call the function you should also put some json doc here with the tag module in a description about it so you can later generate the documentation so we have the id the dialog title will also be a variable so favorite dialog title and we need to bind that and we need to initialize here and will be tight up uh, header headers uh, favorite dialog title okay we have headers favorites dialog title it will be a to list something like that and we also want a property that is initial visibility so if you put hide the model will not open as the um, as the html is rendering but if you put show it will open as soon as we open the page i can put that as show and you i uh, have here i need to remove this button so it otherwise it will fail so i'm loading if i don't have any errors i need to i need to load the j dialog module of course and only then it will open and that's the way you must do that and it will open as soon as the page is loading if you put hide it will not open and you need to open it programmatically when you press a button i need to have some kind of extra padding here in the books title uh, one thing we can do and just to give you the example of that is using the clump class so let's put here also a title binding that is the same as the book title and the class here will have the j i guess is clump and then how much lines i'm not mistaken 
Yes, I am. <laughs> of course I am. Of course I don't know everything from memory. A J line clamp. Line clamp. So it should put the ellipses. Yes, and when you hover it, you can see the full name because we added the title here. And then the tooltip will show the full name. Okay, now it's way better. So when we press the button, the heart button, we need to open the dialog. And to, to open a dialog, you use the document.get element by ID. Then the ID of the dialog, that's why we did the binding. And then we just use the, sorry, the open method on it. We don't want to receive nothing here. And when you press, it will open the dialog. Now we need to customize the dialog. We have some, let me open the um, dialog API doc. So you can see the amount of methods and events you can use. As events, we have the OJ before open, OJ before close, the OJ open. We have all of that there so you can have like before the OJ close so every time you close that we you will trigger some uh, kind of resetting the all the components inside to, in, to an initial state or something like that you can customize some slots as i said the body the context menu the right click the footer and the header you have the the close method the open method the refresh the his open to get property and so on you can also see examples of that here we have the console behavior you can customize that to have an icon so you have the, the that little hex there to or not to press the escape or to not have it. You have a lot of possibilities here. Let's us first of all put some footer buttons. You can use these ones and change to okay call to action. Here it will be handle save list, save to list. It will be all will not have any icon. It will be save to list label or just save label. And it will be a button. And this one. Sorry. And we can duplicate that. And here we are we close the dialog when you press to save. Of course you need to have some um to do here. You need to do some more uh, validation. So add the book to the list what we want more simply a close button we will not have the call to action and we want that to be in the first place so it will be handle close dialog close label here and we close label here let me check the translations so the buttons we don't have the save or the close
privacy. So when you press there, you have save and close. If you close, it will close the dialog. 